We have big news from the St. Louis Blues. We have another coaching change. Craig Berube is out as head coach. We'll discuss this move and who's replacing him coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some pretty significant news in the NHL this time from the St. Louis Blues. We have our third NHL coaching change of the season already. Now the Blues we know haven't had the best start. Uh, they're hovering just below 500. They were right around the 500 mark before yesterday's game with a record of 13 14 and one after dropping last night's contest and not long after the game last night depending on where you live at least in my part of the uh, north america here where i live it was pretty late i was already uh, in bed sleeping for the night but it was probably between 1 32 o'clock in the morning when the news broke in, in my area but depending on where you live you may or may not have seen this yet uh, but he was fired uh, Bruby, after last night's game it didn't take long uh, obviously doug armstrong must have already been working on a potential change and kind of waiting for the right time to make the move here uh, obviously Craig Berube came in as uh, took over as head coach after uh, a dismal season start back in 2018 of course we know that season was a miraculous one for the Blues um, by the time we reached I think it was uh, January they were last in the NHL but ended up winning the Stanley Cup uh, Craig Berube and the Blues along with the miraculous run by Jordan Bennington went on to not only get into the playoffs, but became unstoppable and won the Stanley Cup. It was quite a quite a feat, really. So Craig Berube's been there from November of 2018. He finishes with a record of 206, 131, and 44. I mean, really, overall, that's, that's not a bad record at all. We've seen coaches let go here uh, recently with a pretty good winning percentage. There's certainly coaches out there with lower numbers that are still hanging on to their jobs. And when you think about it from that perspective, it can be a little bit mind-boggling. But overall, Berube, I think, did a pretty good job, and he's a pretty good motivator. Uh, overall, had a lot of success. And I'm not completely certain here that it was really the issue. I mean, a lot of times, unfortunately, coaches – take the fall because they're more easily replaced and in this scenario i mean general manager doug armstrong who's been at the helm of the blues for a long time now um has gone through numerous coaches as well as kind of he's the one that constructed this roster and he, in my opinion he's the one that kind of cornered himself without being able to make more moves i mean at the end of the day we've been hearing for like a year that he's been wanting to change up the blue line and they try to make trades and they just can't uh and really that's what happens when you give your entire blue line a form of a no trade clause they give these things out way too easily in my opinion uh they have pretty much their entire blue line 10 players overall in this roster have a form of a no move or uh, no trade or modified no trade. That's 10 players that you're quite restricted on that you can't trade at your own will. I mean, that to me is just way, way too much. Uh, you throw the fact on top of that that uh, after Jordan Bennington's miraculous Stanley Cup run, every season since then, his numbers have gotten worse and worse and worse. So far, in my opinion, this year, uh, from what I've seen, and I haven't seen every single game, but from what I've seen, uh, he has looked probably a little bit better at times, but... You know, regardless, if you take away the small sample of this year, like he went from being a call up, you know, prospect rookie, getting a chance, goes on a run, gets a two year deal at 4.4 million. Partway through that, when he was eligible, signed the big contract extension over six million dollars a year, six years. And now here we are. And that contract didn't age well. Like his first year after the cup uh, was was pretty good. But then uh, every year since it's been downhill. Uh, that's part of the problem too. They haven't had, uh, you know, sufficient goaltending. Their defense has not been good enough because they can't change things up back there. You know, the forward mix has been, it's been okay at times, but certainly, you know, could use a little bit more work as well. Um, so at the end of the day, I really think this is a lot more on Doug Armstrong than it is Craig Berube. But as we know, that's not always how things work in the NHL. Some of these GMs, if they have a great relationship with the owner, they've been there a long time, and you know they've earned their trust, they get longer leashes and much more opportunity than the coaches do. It's just unfortunately that simple. Now, Berube is going to be replaced by Drew Bannister, who comes up from the American Hockey League and their Springfield the AHL affiliate. Same sort of scenario we saw with Berube, uh, obviously. 
Um, a lot of times this time of year, that's the easiest move when you make a coaching change is you either promote one of your assistants as an interim or you bring up your AHL coach. Now, at this time, uh, none of the assistants to Baruby have been let go. Uh, now, I know over the last couple of years of his tenure there as Blues head coach, Doug Armstrong has made changes to the staff and his assistants. So maybe where they haven't been there quite as long, he's going to give them more opportunity here but obviously drew banister is uh, 49 years old uh, this will be his first nhl head coaching gig uh he's been in the ahl with the blues affiliate for the past i believe it was three years um he's reached the calder cup final in 21 22 made the playoffs the other years he's been down there uh former defenseman himself who did play in the nhl he appeared in 164 nhl games for a few different nhl teams um and we'll see what he can do here as the interim head coach for the rest of the season. Like I said before, um, you know, it's a tough job, but we've seen the miracle happen in St. Louis before. I don't know if Doug Armstrong's waiting and hoping for the same sort of scenario. They're not nearly as low in the standings now as they were, you know, at the time when Barubi took over. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I kind of suspect that um, we're going to see them hopefully get a new, the new head coach bump. Uh, I know that does happen to a lot of teams. Uh, sometimes they have to, you know, lose a little bit more to kind of get things straightened out. And then they go on a run. It's hard to say how it happens. I mean, look what we've seen in Edmonton and Minnesota so far. We've seen some pretty decent turnaround. So will this happen again to the Blues? Or is it more of a roster issue? Because sometimes it's more of a case of structure. It can be more of a case of just not having things sorted the right way. And sometimes you just need a, a new voice. Uh, we'll find out soon enough in St. Louis if this is what they need, or like I said, if this is really more on Armstrong in the construction of that Blues roster. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with the latest news, rumors, and analysis of all 32 NHL teams. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.